Where has everyone gone? At last, a little life. To the turquoise turtle. My God, sir, you look like Jonah's whale. Just spat you out of hell. Can I get you a drink? No, thank you. I'm not, not thirsty. Well, grab a chair and. I'm looking for someone who might have passed through here recently. Wondered if you might help. It's been quiet tonight. The only other person I've seen went straight up to his room. <laughs> Thought it was kind of rude, actually. You... Well, yeah. He paid for the entire week. I need to meet... Just yes? No. Not long ago. Good evening, sir. Wow. Yes. Been there. What's going on? You make... Who is this sewer dog? It's a local bogeyman. Convenient answer for every... Has... Can't... This isn't... I don't know. I'll leave you to your bottle then. I should just run as... Hello, sir. I don't know. Maybe... What's going on around here? Where is everyone? Too many dead, sir. First, the epidemic. What have you heard about the epidemic? It's a Spanish flu. Yeah. Killed so much. Are the authorities? Nothing. The murder. Body. The sewer dog. No one knows. I just want to. I'm not afraid. I only see one customer. Oh. Well, yeah. Of course. I mean. I'll best check on them. What is this place? This is Tom's Bar, a turquoise turtle. Are you always open this late at night? No, it's... I'll leave then. This is no place for you. Prewen has several patrols roaming the area. They do not pursue me. But they're looking for vampires. And
They're most efficient. They'll not relent until the killer has... And who might... I'm not sure that I know anymore. My... That's none of your... Sir, you have... Something. The calling card of a... Va I've been hunted down in the... I... Then if you are... Dr. Edgar... Then help me find the culprit. I, I followed it. You thought I... A shadow, indeed. You should let me handle this affair. You've no idea what you're up against. No. I will find the monster. He is mine. How will you do any better than I? But then let me ask you this. What... I'll... Hmm. I cannot enter. If Swansea is not my attacker, it means somebody else came here tonight. Someone must know. Hello, Niels. What's going... You... I'll leave you to your bottle, then. It's locked. Welcome back. I can't say I told. I think you're hot. I think you're hot. I think you're hiding something from me. I hide many things from many people, sir. That's what my job's about. Goodbye, Mr. Watts. Evening, sir. I have a. F I try. I'm just. I can. F Tell me about this William Bishop. Will was a sailor who worked at the cannon. What? Tom's. I see. the visit yes we'll... I need to find him it's a matter of urgency you could try please d would you thank you if you see there's gotta be something can be done to get out of this bullshit mess. No? I will get the bottom of this intrigue. What's been done to me, to this city? The body is still. This man was armed. He tried to defend himself. This corpse has been dried of its blood, just like the previous victim. 
What's this? Some sort of note. Blood and empty. These men. There are blood splats on the other side of the canal. I must reach that barge. See any of these bastards back here again? Get their weapons ready! Uh, we found one! Uh.
fresh blood. The whole building reeks of it. The scent is so strong it makes me dizzy. Do not betray your trust. Give this first, you see. I'll need a drink on Can't feel it. This creature is bedeviled. I must put it down. William was an honorable man. I could have saved him. Mr. Hampton, are you in there? We knew him well. And... This poor creature can't be my maker. Could it be some subspecies of vampire? I must find a place to analyze the blood. Headed. We're on our way to the Pembroke Hospital. It's just across the canal. They'll have a bed for poor Mr. Hampton. William was... What manner of creature was he? Predator, prey, villain, and victim. Who can say? The important thing is that he's been stopped. Duly noted. And the woman? What... Who is she? What woman? Oh, don't play me for a fool. You used me to locate that skull. You must know who she is. And I thought you were gentlemen. You shouldn't talk about a lady behind her back, but I will tell you she values her privacy. Hmm. Were London as peaceful as she appears from the middle of the canal? 
If only that were the reality of the situation. To be honest, I've always tried to avoid this part of town. Pembroke Hospital is the last bastion between the rest of London and the epidemic. The flu has decimated the East End and the war still rages. Welcome to the front lines of a plague. This is where you work, Dr. Swansea. I am the administrator of Pembroke Hospital. I thought you were here in service of your mysterious order, the Brotherhood of... Of St. Paul's Stole, yes. But first and foremost, I'm a man of science. A physician, like yourself, Dr. Reed. How, how do you know who I am? No need for modesty. You are Dr. Jonathan Reed, a surgeon of some caliber and renown, if I'm not mistaken. You are correct, sir. I knew it! I had my suspicions. But when you took the blood sample from the corpse of poor William, I was certain. Dr. Reed, marvelous. Have we met? I attended three of your seminars before the war. I have the utmost admiration for your research. And what a turn of fate. England's most esteemed blood specialist returns to London a vampire. <sighs> that word again, from a so-called man of science. I understand. Traditionally, the role of science is to refute myth, but when myth walks among us, the Brotherhood of St. Paul has dedicated its purpose to their study. There's so much for you to learn. Of that, you are right. Well, then let me be blunt. Join my staff at Pembroke Hospital. As a physician. I suspect you'll not find a better post of employment to contemplate your uh, predicament. This is sudden. I was returning home to see my sickly mother. But alas, that was before contracting this... affliction. Dr. Reed, take a moment to consider. The post would be for the night shift, providing a good explanation for your absence during daylight hours. You'll be adequately reimbursed, and have a place to hide. I even had the forethought to bring some clean clothes. So, what do you say? It seems I have little choice, but yours is a generous offer, so I thank you. Brilliant! Oh, Jonathan, this is one for the book, and the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Dr. Swansea, thank goodness. I was beginning to be concerned. Worry no more, Nurse Crane, for I bring good news. Oh, Doctor, what a night. We lost two more patients. Nurse Scow said she couldn't take it anymore and resigned. Yes, well, I'll make a new rotor in the morning. In the meantime, find a good bed for Mr. Hampton. Be sure to pay attention to his needs. Of course, Doctor. Oh, and Dorothy? Yes, Doctor? Dr. Reed here has just returned from the front. He served King Country and will be joining us here at Pembroke. We're very lucky to have gained a surgeon of his talent, and one so experienced in blood transfusions. That is good news indeed, Doctor. <laughs> oh, yes. <sighs> Here at Pembroke, it's not what we have, but what we haven't. It's only thanks to Nurse Crane and the staff that our ship doesn't sink. If you have any questions, just ask her. Duly noted. Thank you. Your assistance is required, Dr. Swansea, immediately. Welcome aboard, Jonathan. We'll catch up after my rounds. Coming, Nurse Crane. I'm coming. It's okay, Jonathan. I'll see you later. Come on, you bastard! 
You can do better than that. It's my turn. Rotten or crispy, each heart contains the seeds of life. Drink at this river. Try it all. Come on, you bastard! I won't bite! Sir, please! You've lost too much blood. Calm yourself. You think I'm... Insulting a good... All right. Yes. Follow me, Mr. to fart me. Fuck you. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. To taste a life. To embrace its most intimate secrets. Such a burden. Such a divine 